Hello. Today's lesson we will discuss a topic called fluid dynamics. This concept is somewhat difficult, but if you look at the world around you, you'll see things that make it easier. The clouds floating overhead are made of water floating in a fluid of air currents. The ocean you may visit on a beautiful sunny day has things floating in it. And sometimes the ocean currents have things floating on the water surface. These fluids all follow specific rules which we will learn about in this video's lesson. You've learned in this lesson about in this unit about buoyancy, density, and temperature. Now is the time to put the lessons together in a visible demonstration of fluid dynamics. As you may have remembered, temperature affects density of fluids by making the fluids more dense. This means that the particles become more closely packed together as the temperature drops. This gives the fluids less space and the volume decreases. So when the temperature drops, the, the particles get pushed together into a cramped space and get closer together. This picture shows a Galileo thermometer, which was put in the, the refrigerator. You can see the what are called divers, the little uh, Christmas ornaments at the top, collected because the fluid they are in is more dense than the divers. You can observe the condensation on the side. The fluid appears more cloudy. I marked the fluid level on the outside of the tube when I took the tube out of the refrigerator. The level was near the top, but there was space left for expansion. Next, I will carefully place the Galileo thermometer into a measuring cup of boiling water. Watch what happens. What did you see change? The density of the fluid became less as the temperature de increased. The divers were the same mass and their weight, if you want to consider it that, stayed the same. Yet the fluid's density changed. What happened? The divers started to drop within their tube as the mass became more and the fluid that held them up. So 
their mass became more than the fluid's mass. So, you saw the boiling water. The temperature registered over 180 degrees. This temperature is much more than the fluid in the thermometer, which was taken out of the refrigerator. As we watched, the density of the fluid in the thermometer changed. The fluid, which was cloudy in the beginning, starts to turn more clear. This means the temperature is changing the density of the fluid. The particles have more space, and at the end you will see that the volume has increased. The way scientists determine the density of an object is to divide the mass by the volume. In this case, the Galileo thermometer is a sealed tube, so the mass stays the same. The only change is the volume, as the volume, or the fluid's space, increases from the temperature, the density decreases. The buoyancy of the divers decreases because the mass of the divers becomes more than the density of the fluid. So, let's look more carefully at the density of the fluid, looking closely at the top of the divers. You can see the bubbles from the heat causing the temperature to increase within the tube. The hot water rises and is replaced by cooler fluid. But as we watch more closely, the fluid is bubbling and the waves of heat are rising within the tube and decreasing the density of the fluid. Fluid starts to expand and have more space, which means the divers have more mass than they initially did, so they dropped to the bottom. If we continue watching the fluid, we will observe that the fluid's properties seem to be changing. It becomes more translucent or clear, and we can even observe more of the properties of the flu fluid's density changing within the tube itself. If we look at the top of the tube, you will see that there is a mark where the fluid is now increased. Therefore, the volume has increased by the difference between the two marks. Even in the past, this thermometer was called slow. The thermometer is relatively slow in readings, but accurate, not precise. If we took the tube out and let it cool for hours, it would eventually change to room temperature. What would this mean about the divers? device which was created in the 1600s by a group of scientists and inventors is, is not perfectly accurate, but in their age, when time wasn't as managed as today, the thermometer was relatively accurate and based on sound scientific principles.